Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Ruqayya Muhammad Sanisu and I welcome you all to Black Rose TV NG. If you are new here, I am delighted to have you. So do me a favor by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it to get notified when a new video is being uploaded. So this video is going to be about the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah we, which we are already in and we know these are days that we wouldn't want to miss. All praises be to Allah. Blessings and salutations upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Praises be to Allah who has created time and has made some times better than others, some months and days and nights better than others in a way that rewards are multiplied many times than the case in other pre periods of time. This reflects Allah's overflowing mercy towards his servants and it encourages us to do more righteous deeds, making us more eager to worship him. Among the special seasons of worship, the we have the first 10 days of the Hijjah, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preferred over any other days of the year. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There are no days in which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah than these first 10 days. The Sahaba asked, Not even jihad for the sake of Allah. He replied, Not even jihad for the sake of Allah, except in the case of a man who went out to fight, giving up himself and his work and comes back with nothing. This indicates that these 10 days are better than all other days of the year with no exceptions. Not even the last 10 days of Ramadan, but the last 10 nights of Ramadan are better than the nights of than the nights of the first 10 days of the Hijjah because they include Laylatul Qadr and we know Laylatul Qadr khairun min alf shahr. These first 10 days are of immense advantage and virtues. Firstly, as we've stated earlier in the hadith the Prophet peace be upon him has testified that these are the best day, these are the best days of the year. So we should endeavor to carry out as much as acts of ibadah that we can in these first 10 days. And then secondly, these days include the day of Arafah. And the day of Arafah is a very big day for Muslims, especially those that are not privileged to carry out Hajj. Whoever fasts on the day of Arafah, his sins are forgiven for two years, the preceding year and the next year. So we also carry out um, sacrifice in these first 10 days and also Hajj is being carried out in these first 10 days and we know that Hajj has no any other reward. A Hajj that is accepted has no any reward except Jannah. So those that are privileged to carry out Hajj in these first 10 days of the Hajjah so should please endeavor to make it remarkable should please endeavor to put in their best in carrying out hajj we've had the virtues of these first 10 days what should one do in order to benefit from them so in this video i'll be sharing a few of the things i've gathered which i believe will help us earn reward immensely in these beautiful 10 days of the hijjah first let's be starting off with supplication it is sunnah to say supplication especially takbir Tahmid and Tasbih during the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah and to say it loudly wherever we are, be it the masjid, home, street and every place where it is permissible to remember Allah and mention his name out loud as an act of ibadah and as a proclamation of the greatness of Allah Azza wa Jal. Takbir as, at this time is an aspect of the sunnah that has been forgotten, especially during the early parts of this period. So much so that one hardly ever hears takbir except, except from a few people. It should be pronounced loudly in order to revive the sunnah and to serve as a reminder to our fellow Muslims. Guess what? When you pronounce it loudly and someone hears and picks it up from you, you get rewarded whenever that person says takbir from Allah for reminding them. So let's say takbir wherever we are and let's say it out loud. Secondly, repenting to Allah sincerely. One of the most important things to do during these first 10 days is to repent to Allah sincerely and give up all kinds of disobedience and sin. Another act of worship that we felt that will fetch us a most reward in these first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah is fasting and the Prophet peace be upon him has urged us to do good deeds during this time and I know that we all know that fasting is one of the best of deeds. A bonus for all Muslims is that we get to fast on the 9th. When we fast on the 9th of Dhul Hijjah, which is the day of Arafah, as I've stated earlier, our sins are forgiven for two years. And 
the preceding year and the next year. So we shouldn't let this opportunity slip. If you are capable of fasting, please make use of this opportunity wisely. Even if you won't be able to fast the other eight days, we shouldn't miss the ninth of the Hijjah. One can also perform Hajj and Umrah. If you are privileged to perform Hajj and Umrah in these 10 days, please carry them out sincerely and properly. The one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has helped to offer to his house and to perform all the rituals pro properly is included in the words of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Al Hajj al Mabru, laysa lahu jaza'un illa al Jannah. An accepted Hajj brings no less of a reward than paradise. So those whom Allah has blessed with the chance and opportunity to carry out Hajj and Umrah in this period should please make use of it wisely. Other things include re reciting the Quran with tafakkur and tadabbur, being good and kind to your parents, your spouses, siblings, neighbors and others. In a nutshell, we should endeavor to be good, to be in our best of behaviors in these first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us goodness in this life and the hereafter. May we be amongst those that benefit immensely from these beautiful days. I pray Allah Azza wa Jal grants us mercy and elevates our status in this life and the hereafter. You can also add it in the comment section what you believe that will help us gain more rewards in these first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah or how we can get rewards in these first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Drop them in the comment section. You're always welcome over there. Like, subscribe and share.